a big day. Um, I am running super, super late, but from the title of this vlog video, it is first day of my Dubai vlogs. I am the worst packer because I do things last minute, but I'm waiting for my driver to take me to the airport, and I'm gonna be meeting Forrest there. I'm pretty much all packed, so I have like a few minutes to spare. Luckily, me and Forrest got business class seats on Emirates, and so I'll probably show you uh, what that consists of as well. So follow us along, and I hope you're enjoying these next uh, four to five, five to six days. So I just got into the chauffeur car. The chauffeur guy's walking in soon. Hey guys, so I am here at the TTAC International Airport waiting for Forrest to get his ass here. Apparently he was stuck in traffic uh, with his driver because he's coming a little bit further from the airport. Uh, so look who decided to show up in the airport. Hey guys. Are you excited? Totally excited. So we're about to check into our Emirates flight. So much room. Just had the tour of all the features here. Oh, you're charging your phone. So apparently, there's like the chargers down here for USB and a uh, regular charger. Um, there's this like. I don't know, touch screen, you can take this out, it's kind of like a pat, iPad type of thing. My eye shields. Oh, eye shades and socks too. <laughs> um, it looks like they have this thing called ice on the, on the uh, screen. I means information, C means communication, and E means entertainment. Um, but what we really want to look at is the entertainment because apparently they have like more than 1,600 different channels here for movies, TV shows, podcasts. Also, it looks like there are, oh, you're already wearing them, headphones. Um, oh my gosh, you really are just trying everything. I love it. So apparently this whole seat turns into like a lie flat bed. I'll show you that later. Um, there are little compartments here for your shoes. Um, there's a menu. Oh my gosh. You like are in awe right now. And then there are um, so many different things on this, this cabin. This is crazy. So, Anna, our lovely uh, flight attendant, came by with chilled champagne to start off the flight. Oh, she's so nice. She's so like, she's so cute and perky. Um, cheers. Cheers. Ah. Hot towel. What does it smell like? For loops. <laughs> <laughs> It's really hot and nice. Look at this. Do it all the way down. No, put it all the way down really. And then keep pressing it. Who does that? Look at your face right now. <laughs> and then keep going up. Oh, oh. big deal. And then we have a menu of the food. Apparently, so there is 
bar service. You got your uh, selection of beers, cocktails, spirits, liqueurs, whiskeys, and then the dinner. You have like appetizer soup, salad, main course, bread, dessert, and teas and coffees. And then if you're hungry throughout the flight, you get like light bites that these are on demand, so we might be grabbing some food. And then later, towards the end of the flight, we get breakfast. It comes with juice, fruit, main course, bread, and all that other stuff. And then, of course, they have an Arabic. Pretty cool. Anyways, we're on the tarmac right now, about to head out. So this is really funny. If I don't want to talk to Forrest, I can put up this little partition here. But since we're friends, I'll just push the button and it'll go down. massager on it so on this little button you can actually turn it on and you can either do it like the pulse wave zigzag from like these five different points so for those of you who are wondering about my ear problem I accidentally left my ear plays at ear planes at home but I've just been chewing the course's last piece of gum and um, I'm not I don't have any pain so that's a good thing oh my god so it's kind of a cool surprise the lady lady came by with these little pouches and I think they're like amenity kits toiletry kits oh this is a really cute bag um, when you open it up looks like a whole bunch of stuff and what it's a Bulgari looks like a set of cologne lotion and aftershave and it's Bulgari what the and then looks like Oh, like a Gillette foaming yeah, uh, for shaving, comb, Colgate toothpaste, Kleenex, ice cool deodorant, toothbrush, razor. That's hella cool. they have this the pattern of this um, material throughout uh, of course that's the toilet but they have all these like uh, scents here and then you know combs sewing kits oh, real towels instead of uh, paper towels and then a full length mirror anyways uh, we have just finished dinner and then now we are um, gonna just relax, so I'll probably sleep. I don't know if I'm gonna get a picture of the whole bed because it's a little bit, you know, there are people around us and I don't wanna like act like fangirl, but I'm pretty sure me and uh, Forrest are acting like fangirls right now, so. So just watching uh, the butler right now, but it tur they turned on the lights um, to simulate the stars. Oh my God, so I was intending to only sleep an hour and a half. I slept for like seven hours and Forrest slept for like nine, <laughs> nine hours. But we're waiting for our breakfast right now. Out of the 
plane. We're in Dubai. It's hot. We're gonna go uh, pick up our luggage, find our driver, and then head to the hotel. So, quick story. I went to uh, immigration, and since I'm wearing my colored contacts, the guy working there questioned me, and he was like, you wear color contacts? I'm like, yeah, the prescription. He's, are you Filipino? I'm like, yeah, I'm Filipino-American. I feel like Filipinos have a weird stigma here in this country, but um, he was like, you make me nervous. And I was like, uh, and he almost had me take off my contacts, but then I think since he saw that I was actually gonna take it out, that I wasn't like, you know, up to no good. So we're gonna go get to the, uh, the driver now. Bye. Hey guys, so just got to our hotel. We're just waiting in the little seating area while there is an open, uh, open front desk. This is the lobby. Hey guys, so we are in our hotel room right now. There's like a little waiting area out of our actual room. When you walk in, um, you have this kind of area where it's like the bedroom. Two queen beds um, with the uh, flat screen TV. I'm assuming this, this might be a bar or like a refrigerator of things. Um, ooh, an espresso, glass water, an assortment of snacks and cups for coffee. Um, oh, since I'm a member of this hotel, uh, they gave me um, running shoes to borrow, that's so funny. And as well, some running gear, like shorts and, and whatnot. Oh my God, the balcony. We have a little balcony area here, actually pretty big, but the view of the Dubai skyline is pretty crazy. What are your first impressions? It's so hot here. It is hot. Um, the floor is marble, but oh, since I'm also a uh, member here, they also gave us a whole bunch of treats. Looks like, you know, shortbreads and whatnot. And then different fruits, Voss water, some plates. And then on this side, I'll go past the bathroom really quick, but there is like a, a closet where uh, it's a floor to like almost the ceiling and it has a safe. And then the bathroom. You have your deep soaking tub right here, and then if you want to creep in, we'll get four. It's on that side. <laughs> and then um, you have your rain shower up there, or the regular shower head. And then large basin. I love my basins. And then some amenities. I love the Rose 31. Um, you know, toiletry brand. It smells so good, like roses. And then here, separate room. <laughs> There's a bidet in our, our, our room for us. And a toilet. Looks like there is a robe. And then if you want to make a phone call, you can do so there. But anyways, um, we're going to settle in. I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the night. But we will keep you updated. So we are at the Flow Kitchen. And we already got a la carte stuff. Uh, Flow Kitchen is the restaurant here in our hotel. But... The nice man that was working here was like, you can have complimentary salads and whatnot, so I'll show you what we find here.
you guys, so we just got back from dinner, back to our hotel room, and I think we're gonna call this the end of the vlog. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. We have a few things in store for you, uh, for you guys to see. And yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye!